Hi, I'm David Sweeney from Athletics Ireland. This video is an introduction to discus throwing for coaches, PE teachers and athletes of club and schools level. Hopefully we'll give you some guidelines that will set you off on the right road to being a discus thrower or maybe even a world champion like Daniel Stahl in this video. Discus throwing is a truly athletic event where you need a combination of lots of strength, speed, balance, coordination and skill. We will show you some ideas around the basics of throwing, like grip and spinning and swinging the discus, and then we look at some standing throws, some progressions that will get you turning and give you the feel for the full turn. We'll also see some Olympic level throwers in action. So try to copy these throwers and maybe sometime in the future, you can also be a champion. To go into the technique, we start with the grip and you can see here the discus is held in the first joint of the finger with the palm held against the discus and the thumb sits on top. So you can see the fingers are spaced evenly apart and uh, it should be quite comfortable sitting in your hand. Yeah, let the arm be nice and relaxed as it holds the discus and then we start to uh, try and spin the discus. Start with little movements like this where it's spinning off your index finger. So you apply pressure with the index finger as it's coming out of your hand. And then you develop that into slightly longer throws like this and even try rolling it along the ground. Then we try swinging the discus and swing it with the discus underneath your hand. And uh, once you're comfortable with that, we kind of go to the standing throw movement. Good. The discus is swung from a low to a high position. So it's low at the bottom, high up at delivery. That leads then into the standing throw. And the same movement applies. You go from low to high. So low at the back, high at the front, and let the discus spin off the index finger. So what you're trying to do here is engage the body from the feet, through the hips, through the chest, and then eventually it releases out of your hand. You start here with a high position, lean back, into the uh, what we call the power position, then drive the legs and hips and chest forward, keeping the discus out wide from your body, and then release the discus. The discus throw, when done fully, is a complicated movement, so we've got to learn it in stages. So we start off with simple drills like this, where we just turn 90 degrees. In this situation, we're putting all our weight on the left foot and on the turning on the ball of the foot. So make sure the weight is on your big toe and on the ball of the foot. Then we progress that, you can see, to a half turn, which is 180 degrees. Get comfortable doing that. Then progress it further again to what we call 270 degrees. And this is really what happens in the throw itself when you're doing a full turn. So the the right leg swings out quite wide. All your weight is on your left leg and the right leg swings out wide from the body. Then we do a full 360 degrees and this is really just to give you control. We then do some walkthroughs where we walk through the discus movement. Here we step forward with the right leg and weight in the middle, leaning in the power position. So it's just a step turn weight and you can see here when we walk through the discus is left behind you uh, you're turning on the balls of your feet of the right foot you're leaning back and, uh, and it's just a nice balanced position so do lots of these little drills and then you gradually speed them up and uh, once once you're comfortable doing them faster we move on to what we call a four part turn. So that's breaking the full turn down into four parts. So that's just a 90 degree turn. Then we step into the middle, step forward to the power position, 
and then release, which is the same as a standing throw, then okay. it's good that you can stop in each of these positions, check your positions, see where is my balance, where is the discus, good. and can I comfortably progress that towards a single movement. We go forward then, instead of four parts, we make it into two parts. So we progress or combine rather part one and part two. And that's the first section. So it's turning and swinging around, doing like a 270 degree turn. Then take a swing in the discus and forward and release. So that'll be a two part turn. And then it's really practicing that, doing it faster and faster, and then gradually uh, going f through into a full turn. So the full throw, obviously okay. there's a lot of finesse involved. And what we're trying to do now is, is really just set you off on the right road, give you some drills that can make that happen. So Shane here is a decathlete. He's not a discus specialist, but he's got a good feeling for the technique. Here would be some specialist throwers. This would be Anna Rue from Germany. She's an Olympic level thrower. Uh, who throws probably mid 60s, mid 60 meters. But she's a lean athlete, but got incredible speed and acceleration into the discus. Obviously it takes years to develop this sort of level. This is Daniel Stahl. Daniel's the world champion from Sweden. He's an exceptionally strong athlete. But you can see in these throws that um, there's a lot of acceleration and, uh, and a lot of balance and great feel for the discus. This takes time and uh, this is where we'd love to see our throwers develop towards, but uh, we've got to start somewhere. And with the drills we have in this video, we hope that that will bring you part of the way. Uh, Daniel Stahl is now a 70 meter thrower, or 71 meters, and uh, that's uh, a rarity. Not many people in the world have done that. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for uh, Shane Aston for demonstrating a lot of her exercises. Um, we hope you're going to enjoy discus throwing and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the future.